Uh, let's move up to our number nine, and we have Bolus, am I right? And his Boston Blissies. Uh, so why do we yes, have this right. team at number nine? It's a very nice team. Uh, uh, just well, I, there's a couple things yeah. I don't like on this team. I don't like Typhlosion. I don't like Typhlosion. I'm on his ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I, I just... Know. I just don't like Typhlosion. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm sure he can but, make it work. Like, again, he has... If he needs that flash fire for whatever reason, um, I mean, what what's weak to fire on his team? The Metagross? Um, Metagross and... He doesn't have a big it. fire weakness. No. Metagross and Galvantula, but... Galvantula, yeah. yeah. So has Mega Venusaur, but, you know, Thick Bat. I mean, Thick Bat's the yeah. thing. Um, so... I don't know. Uh, the Typhlosion, okay. it's interesting. So, but uh, at all honestly though, where's his where is his removal? That's very the Hitmonchan, but you're asking a lot of Hitmonchan to be removed. Yeah, you're and asking... you're asking a lot of Hodgecrow to be removed as well. Uh, that that was the timer. Sorry. Um, yeah. Um, that was the timer. The other for the thing last with one. this T. The other thing with this team, and it's kind of the inverse of what I said about Aces, he doesn't really have a tried and true physical switch in outside of Mega Venusaur. He's guarantee he's basically guaranteeing that he's going to run a Fizz Death Mega Venusaur every single week, mm -hmm. which is fine, particularly well, you have mods like Blissey and Primarina, but you're not like you don't want to rely on Suicune to be your physical tank or Garchomp to be yeah. your physical tank every single week. Yeah, Metagross. I mean, he too, also he also does have Metagross, yeah. but. Well, he has Hunchcrow. Metagross is... I mean, you don't really want Metagross to be your common physical switch-in with weaknesses to common moves like Knockoff and Earthquake. Right. Mm -hmm. well, he, yeah. he has Hunchcrow as well, if yeah. he wants. Uh, a Hunchcrow is have frail, frail, though. Switch a Hunchcrow yeah, with yeah. any physical attack or any special attack that's normal effective and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What the fuck? Everyone has a timer going. Um, and, I, uh, Eagle, I don't know, but you're cutting pretty hard right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come back to this dimension, big man. <laughs> okay. Well, when we're talking about physical walls, uh, to be fair, I think he actually has um, a couple that he can alternate with every single week. Like you just talked about Metagross, Garchomp, Suicune, uh, and Venusaur. It's it's not too bad, honestly. Uh, Garchomp obviously has a four times weakness. Um, and Suic Suicune can cover that, so it's not, it's not the worst I, I, thing. I just, I just don't know what Blissey is doing for this team. Well, I mean, it's his mascot. That, so. All right, fair uh, enough. It takes his special hits, right? Easy. Yeah, it's his, yeah. Uh, it's his special tank, and it's another stealth rocker. Yeah. Well, Blissey, like, what are you going to expect it to really do? Um, I guess... You know, Best like, toss, stealth rock, toxic... Yeah. Anything uh, else? The thing is, uh, what's interesting is that uh, obviously fighting types are very scary for Blissey, but if a fighting type is in and he needs to scare Blissey away, he has the Mimikyu in the back that will come in and just uh, is immune to fighting and then will just set up and then start uh, wreaking havoc, right? So. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good solution for uh, Blissey for sure. I think it's the mo the the thing that's lacking the most is the raw power. The raw power. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garchomp. But yeah, right. pretty much Garchomp and Metagross are kind of your big three on that front. Yeah, but it's not like it's great. not wow. Yeah, and those yeah. aren't really outside of yeah you know, outside of Garchomp, Metagross, and Pre Marina are kind of slow. So and, and outside can... of ground, you're not really using a like the marquee offensive typings. What do you guys think of uh, yeah. his uh, speed tiers, though? I don't even see a base 110 on here. His fastest mod is Galvantula. He needs webs up to which, outspeed most things. Yeah, which, which, is also, yeah. which isn't too bad. He, he does get webs, like you said. I also yeah. noticed um, Galvantula is also his only means of U-turn uh, or bolt switch. So, That's correct. Um, that's not yep. the, the worst thing in the world, obviously, if he has, uh, some bulky mons to kind of pivot. Um, it is nice to have, uh, like, passive momentum as yeah. well, but... I think, yeah, 
I think he had a good Firewater Grass Fork going with Mega Venusaur and Suicune, but then he dropped the Type Lotion. The Type yeah. Lotion could have easily been uh, a Blaziken, I think, because Blaziken, I think, we put in Tier 4 as well. Yeah, um, it would have given him a Defogger. <clears throat> yeah, and it would have given, given him another Defogger, uh, so... So um, I, I think if he ever gets the opportunity, he can he can always uh, use his free agency there. Um, maybe he just wants to try out Typhlosion. I rarely get to see Typhlosion in draft, honestly. So um, it could uh, be nice reason. to see. Like, There's a reason for that. <laughs> hey, it's Scarped Eruption can do some work. I don't know. Set up set up rocks. That's really all you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when your defogger is Haunch Crow. I does it get defog though? I I don't know if it does. Most flying Hunter, types do. I think Hunter, yeah, Hunter yeah, it does, is, it does. It's a Gen 4 flying type. It does get defog. Yeah, it gets it. The only flying type I can think of that doesn't get defog is like Celesteela. Yeah. Like, I don't think you're, I can't think of another one that does it. They're probably. Uh, hey. I mean, there's probably some out there, like the grounded ones. Yeah. Dodrio. <laughs> I think it gets it probably. too. I think it's right. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm wondering something here. Um, it, I, I'm, I like I know we made an average of, like of, of, of um, the mods list, but do you guys really believe that like uh, this team should be higher ranked than Aces team, the one we just did? Um, I had Aces at six, and this team at eleven. So. Like that. I, I like Case's theme a lot more. Like, yeah. Well, again, it was just average to what uh, what everyone yeah. had, right? I had um, yeah. I had aces actually at number two. <laughs> uh, I had I had aces at twelve. See, so like but... everyone had aces like everywhere, but yeah. um, well, I guess that's... for bolus, like I had bolus at number twelve, uh, and. Um, you know, everyone else kind of just had him right around the middle, so it it kind of just averaged out to the point where um, Aces somehow got below Bolus. But I mean, like, like we're I think we're pointing out more flaws on that team than on Aces. That's why I was wondering. Right. Yeah, yeah I can see I that as well. The flaws on this team are li- the flaws in this team are a little bit less exploitable, but they're a lot more in construction. It's very. Yeah. It's again, it's a very bulky team with with Venusaur, Suicune, Blissey. Yeah, I guess um, so. Yeah like Garchomp so as well he has it's pre-marina okay. to be a very um like heavy wall breaker if he needs it on the fairy side uh and then he has um uh mimic you as well which is also a fairy right. type and can do the same thing but like set up instead so yeah i believe uh, mimic is one of like it's great value for tier two as well yeah so again like and he's not really weak to steal like he has two two fairy types but pre-marine is not weak to steal and mimikyu has disguise and then he has um you know then he has the venusaur and suicune that can take up uh, that can uh, take on uh well venusaur can't really take on steel types i guess but at least he can, he can, he can set up his win con and mimic you with all those walls yeah true for sure there's a concept but at the so. end of the day there is just an overall lack of immediate power yeah yeah because mimikyu has to set up Mm. Well, I think we find that on a lot of teams, but Garchomp well, I mean, is not yeah, weak, weak. But by any means. Metagross isn't weak. Like, I think they're both base 130 attack, right? Uh, Garchomp's 133, I want to say, but sure. I mean, yes, yeah, weak. Like, but, I don't know. but like a bulky, a really bulky psychic or a ground type can, like, you know, cover kind of both. Mm-hmm. Like, depends on how, how bulky it is, obviously, but yeah. still. Yeah, his entire team, barring uh, Honchkrow, is grounded, right? So... Um, a, a, uh, a really strong ground type is going to hurt him, but mm-hmm. it's not like Venusaur can't switch into a ground type. Like, yeah, he's he doesn't resist I mean, it, but he's going to eat that hit. Like, Venusaur is very bulky. Yeah, usually they do around like 33%. Mm-hmm. Like, what's a bit, um, a non, like, a non, well, round Q. A non-adamant yeah. Flygon at 252 is going to do roughly 33%. So that's, that's it. So it can switch in, but <clears throat> you're only going to want to do that a few times. Yeah, of course. Um, and you know, Venusaur has reliable recovery. 
Uh, Venusaur is probably just there to to be um, Bolus's backup wall while he kind of, while he wants to set up with his Mimikyu in the late game. Yeah. Uh, I can see his strategy for the most part. You know, he gets up yeah. webs with Galvantula. Uh, he walls everything else, and he takes on the Steel types with Typhlosion. He brings in Mimikyu yeah. in the late game, and then sets up and, and, and sweeps. So yeah. conceptually, it works. The team works conceptually, but like, yeah. Yeah, in execution, there are a few easy ways to break through it, and mm -hmm. also yeah. if he if you get in the way of his plan, he doesn't have a backup. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you so, know, should we move on? He he has options. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh let's move on to uh, our number eight. Um, I believe we have uh we have our, our one and only beater gate right <laughs> here in the Maryland Mudsdale. So if you kind of want to talk about um uh why you drafted uh your team and then we can kind of uh, start why that why drafting a team that's literally all grounded yeah sure I'll yeah for it. Um, yeah we can start thrashing it afterwards so yeah um this team was kind of a construction of two different ideas and in execution when i put it together it seemed a lot better on paper than i did as i was drafting it so the combo of Bulu and Zai 50 I liked because it's one of the Zai 50 is one of the mons that doesn't get weakness from grassy terrain. A thousand arrows is not weakened. Mm -hmm. um, Mega Agron also utilizes grassy terrain well as it now becomes slightly resistant to earthquake because after filter and have damage, it will take less than the standard mm -hmm. earthquake. And only if, that if like... it wasn't. It, it's it's almost like he has leftovers now too, right? Because he's exactly. in terrain. So, yep. Um, I wanted a bulky water, and getting the ghost typing with Jellicent is a nice added bonus. Um, my main means of attacking, I can set up with Zygarde. I have immediate power with Buzzwool and Alakazam, but the team starts to fall apart around the middle as I don't level outside of Avalon. I have means of setting up rocks through Mega Agron and Toxic Spikes through Drapion, but I'm not particularly worried about rocks as much as I am things like webs and standard spikes. Toxic Spikes, I have two poison types that help me remove those, but I'm not as much worried about setting... I'm not as much worried about having hazards on the field as much as I am... If I go up against a spinner that can constantly remove hazards, then I'm in a little bit of a jam. Or, in, as, as is the case, ironically, with my week one battle, someone who has a spinner and can set up standard spikes, that gets annoying very quickly. Mm -hmm. Because, again, like like we just noticed, like Avalug is your only means of hazard removal, right? So. Yeah. I'm willing to play most games with hazards up on both sides, but that's the main thing, keeping hazards up on both sides or keeping hazards up on no side. Mm -hmm. if, a, if the opponent has a spinner, I'm in a little bit of a jam situation, but I think there are only three teams that do across the league. Well, and... you know you know what I like is that uh, you have Jelsint as a ghost type, so you can always block yeah. those spins, right? So Yeah, and that's why I needed that ghost typing. Mm -hmm. Um... Well, we can start getting into it now. Uh, yeah. I, I really do. Um, I really do like your Zygarde, Tapu Bulu, and then um, uh, you don't have a Dragon type. Right. Oh no, Zygarde's your Dragon type. Uh, I'm looking. Yeah, Mega Agron's the Steel. And Mega Agron's the Steel type. Yeah, so I do like th that core together. Uh, I I think it works. I think for the most part, pe people don't. Um, see Bulu's utility as well because it obviously helps out your opponent as well it can heal them um but when it when you combine it with Agron who um you know want, doesn't always want to take an earthquake if Bulu's there to kind of uh neutralize the hit even more so with filter in the way and then you gain recovery as well it, it kind of helps I like the combination um yeah and with open Z uh I know that you have um uh, uh, you know, you have you had your Bulu, and it, it did really well with having that Z Stone Edge to kind of take on. Say, uh, are we, can we just reveal the week one battle in this? Okay, because let's. Uh, we're not going to get too uh, yeah, I, too in depth can, with uh, change, your strats there. That but... changes a lot about how I talk about like this team. But... Yeah. 
Um, I mean, I'll go ahead. I mean, I can go ahead and reveal one thing that was a takeaway from the League One battle that I kind of already knew. Yeah. Don't expect so. Don't expect Salazzle to last this entire season on the team. Yeah. Like, so Salazzle's uh, an oddball when it comes to uh, what you want to bring with him because it's either going to be the very offensive nasty plot set, or it's going to be the toxic stolly, um, you know, protect sub disable set. <laughs> And it really doesn't get helped by grassy terrain because, fun fact, most stab ground types, I have to run Shuka in grassy terrain to have a chance to live. Yeah, well, he is four times weak, so it is kind of hard for Salazzle to, to live those hits. But, um, you know, it's still very like very fast. It adds to your speed tier, right? You have uh, Alkazam, Jolteon, and Salazzle. It's, um, it's not really a useful speed tier, but it does allow me to um, not have to scarf Alkazam or not have to run T Wave on Alkazam if I want to outspeed something. Like, yeah. hypothetically, if my week one matchup had a Zard X, I could have attacked that many different ways. Mm hmm. So, um, yeah, but uh, no spoilers. <laughs> again, your team is very well built. I think uh, Buzzwall kind of eats those ground hits as well very easily. It, it's uh, um, very easy to take like a um, you know like a very strong guard chomp. Like you can just switch in guard, yeah. uh, Buzzwall to guard chomp, and yeah. it takes like nothing. It's a sneaky good physical defensive mod. Mm -hmm. So. Plus, it actually does get roost. So yeah, I've I used have... I've used roost puzzle. Yeah, I think the the I'm biggest the biggest thing I see is your ground weakness is definitely reduced because you have top of Lulu, but there's also a fire weakness yeah. like Abela, Mega Agron, Lulu, Buzzwall. None of those balls are the same fire. Weight, yeah. So and uh, Jelson's not always going to be there to you know, take those fire hits. Like, yeah. he can be, though. He's, he's a very reliable um, water the type, you know. It the gets... downside of it is that I have a lot of ways to attack fire types, but I also don't have a lot of ways to switch into them. So if I get caught with Blue against a fire type that outspeeds it, or with Buzzwool against a fire type that outspeeds it, mm -hmm. if I don't have Jellicent, I'm kind of jammed. Big Fat yeah. Mill Tank does help with that a little yeah. bit, but... Yeah. Yeah. Having, having Mill Tank with Thick Fat, very nice as well. Yeah. Um, Zygarde? It would be as a role, really. I, I like the team in general. I think it's energizes pretty well, but mm -hmm. I think it's just... You have to, you have to play around like rocks every, every game. Yeah. Every time. But I, I think mean, what happens... Like, that's not too bad, but then you just have to be... You know, yeah. Well, I mean, you're, the, you're saying, the theory with <laughs> rocks is that a lot of it's going to rely on me setting up rocks and then jamming an opponent to use deep. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. The only thing I can see, like, you're, you don't have good removers, obviously. But um, yeah. I think some of the people that were doing the PRs, that's why you're a little lower, is because people didn't know that arrows worked. Like they weren't getting reduced by the grassy terrain. Yeah, so, I for one didn't know that. Yeah. I would have rated for like the team a little bit higher mm -hmm. had I known that. I knew that. It I, is a little I bit think it's just earthquake on grassy terrain. So yeah, yeah, earthquake, earth, earth power, and bulldoze. Actually, no, earth, 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 earth power does not. I the think it's I like, think it's only earthquake, isn't it? It's, it's earthquake, earthquake and, and magnitude. Uh, magnitude, yeah. Magnitude, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Any any of the ground shaking moves. Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, to be fair, I think uh, I think the team looks very nice. Like I think uh, it was the people who did the PRs. I think it was uh, more so that you only had the one spinner. That's why yeah. you're solo. Yeah. yeah. Removal but... is big in draft, and I don't have a lot of it, but. Mm -hmm. That is something I've done before and know how to play around. Yeah. Not that I should, but... Yeah. Uh, but, to be fair, I like the team. It only really has Jolteon to kind of um, pivot around on Volt Switch. Um, yeah. <coughs> but uh, it's very fast, so... It's a hyper-offensive team, so switching mm -hmm. isn't really a huge thing anyway. Yeah. Um... Yeah, that's our timer anyways right on cue okay um <clears throat> anyone else have any comments on beater's team here okay no i think that you know it's you know the biggest thing is you know your fire weakness you really when I mean, you have mega agron for setting hazards and you have have one for removing that's about it i mean mm -hmm. yeah but other than that i don't think there's I think we covered everything. Yeah. So 
I think I think your mega also just very uh, covers um uh, there's not a very obvious weakness here but there's a flying weakness that can uh, kind of mess you up if um if you don't yeah, have it uh, its head. what yeah it rears its head if I, I don't bring ag well I probably bring aggro in most matches but yeah if Jolteon goes down or doesn't mm -hmm. come and aggro is chipped I don't yeah. have a true um flying switch. Uh, to be fair, Zygarde has 120 defense and uh, a lot of HP. It's very, it's yeah. very bulky on the defensive side. It's extremely bulky, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, you also get access to Coil, which is uh, usually you don't see those, you don't see that type. Like everybody talks about the Coil set, nobody really uses it, but it's mm -hmm. actually pretty good. It's a threat to have, but it's not the primary threat that mm -hmm. Zygarde does. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dragon Dance is a lot more potent. Dragon Ants, and fight. then there's the glare set. If you don't feel like yeah. speed is uh, is necessary in one in some of your matches, so yeah, it's true. So, all right. Well, with that, we can move up. We have uh, number seven, um, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Rummy. And um, let's take a look at Rummy's team here. Uh, he has the um, the Kirin Black Empoleon and uh, the Slurpuff as his as his uh, uh, Fairy Dragon Steel Core. Uh huh. And he this does... team gave me mixed vibes. I just like... think it's Mega. Well, Mega Sableye doesn't fit this team. No, it doesn't fit this team at all. It feels like it's trying to be a Trick Room team, but mm -hmm. with Superior and Terrakion. His top speed, like his, a lot of his high tiered mods don't fit that mold. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Uh, I think what's interesting is that uh, um, he does have magic bounce, and he also has a couple of defoggers though. Uh, so I'm not sure if, uh, if magic bounce is that all that necessary, especially when. His only real weaknesses to rocks are uh, Napoleon, or sorry, Rotom and Kiram, right? Yeah, Kiram Black and Rotom Heat. But even still, yeah, Magic on Sableye is great. And he's but... not he's not super weak to rocks. I mean, he has the Kiram Bead, Rotom Heat, and then the, the Volbeat. But... Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Volbeat is also weak. Yeah, I forgot about that. I mean, yeah. it's tier 5. We can, we can live with that. Mm -hmm. right. The only, the big thing for me is that the top of his speed tiers are abysmal. 113, 108, and 95 are his big three. Yeah. And yeah, those are that weird. Is a lot of holes to be exposed. I think I can say about this is instead of the Mega Sableye, I think like Mega Absol would have been fantastic here. I actually agree with that. Mega Absol. Same. Um, a very nice speed tier to have, as well as a very offensive dark type. Uh, synergizes well with Terrakion, and then like Reuniclus as a psychic type as well. Um, I also wouldn't have minded a Mega Gyarados on this team with the ability to Dragon Dance and kind of play around with those speed tiers. Mm -hmm. yeah. The thing is, Mega Absol is still available. I think Mega Gyarados is drafted. Uh, uh, yeah, I think, correct, uh, yeah but... I think yeah, Juke Loans. Uh, <laughs> that is uh, accurate. Yeah, um, Mega Absol is open. It's like right there, right? So, yeah, the available the available Dark and Ghost Megas are Mega Tyranitar, Mega Absol, and then and Mega Bayonet. Who's drafting? Yeah, yeah we're Mega we Doom, but yeah. yeah, yeah, Mega Doom as well. Well, the other thing is, um, he does have some setup options on this team, uh, but they're very obvious, like. Um, the things that are supposed to be Wally and tanky, they're they're gonna be walls, and the things that are gonna be set up, they're gonna be set up. So yeah. he has Terrakion, which obviously gets Swords Dance and Rock Polish, and then he ha he has Superior, which is <laughs> gonna set up with Leaf Storm. He has Reuniclus, which might set up Calm Minds, um, and I think that he doesn't that, have yeah, that he might doesn't be really it. have a way of having a setup play with speed. Like it's all straight. Up. Like, There's bigger Sable Lions and Calm Minds as well, but yeah. Yeah, yeah Sable like, Lions Calm Minds. Yeah. The only way he really plays with speed is Trick Room Reuniclus. I think you can uh, prankster Tailwind with Volbeat, but. I'm also just going to say that I don't. What is the power that I'm doing on this team? 
That's another but, good question. Like, he needs a ground type for sure, but I don't think it had to be that. Yeah, it, it didn't have to be Hippowdon. Like, it kind of, you know, Hippowdon plus Terrakion together kind of helped, though. Terrakion gets that uh, sp special defense boost. But, uh, you know, they're I both, both I weak to water. Diggersby, Diggersby would have been such a great fit for a Glys like Gliscor or Diggersby. Mm -hmm. Something that can kind of just, um, you know, be offensive at the same time. Uh, Hippowdon can be offensive, but it's very slow. I would... I would love Gliscor on this team. Like, he has a fair amount of ice switch-ins between Empoleon, Rotom Heat, and um, Licky Licky's actually... Uh, Licky Licky's a de decent one as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gliscor would be a great fit instead of Hippowdon at that tier 2 slot. He can make it work for sure, yeah. He, ha he has, again, he has a lot of bulk that he doesn't even need, um, like, type switch-ins. Like, he has Reuniclus, which is so bulky it comes in and it can take any hit and then recover off the damage or if he has regenerator can just swap out so he can use that as a pivot uh he has licky licky like you said which can uh, wish pass uh slurpuff can wish pass as well but uh, you might want to use it for belly drum in a lot of cases um yeah. so he ha he does have some pivots and rotom heat obviously um it, you know, he gets pain split, but for the most part, he comes in, takes a hit, and then Volt switches out, so. Yeah. I think I would have liked to see, like, this team could have been close to the top. I think if you would have seen something like, uh, Glyscor and Mega Absol, mm -hmm. pick. Yeah, something that can yeah, kind of synergize also, well. Also, well, with Mega Absol, offense. you get extra points as well, so yeah, you don't need true. a bull beat at the end, you can draft something Excellent. higher. So, yeah, you can upgrade that. Yeah, so what we're looking at with this team is that, uh, it it has um it has a lot of offense and we'd like to see it be a bit more offense because uh, the trick room aspect that he was trying to go with or the more bulky aspect there um it it doesn't really synergize well with the rest of his team um but I can understand like he can use Karen Black as his wall breaker and then maybe try to sweep with Terrakion or yeah. something yeah. else in the late game um but if the those team are is not feels yeah. bad it's just it feels player. like he was caught between a bunch of different ambitions and ideas. Yeah. So I don't know if he got sniped along the process mm -hmm. or what, but he, it he, doesn't quite feel like this was the final plan. Yeah, his team can't be everything. So, you know, he either can make it work or he has to kind of, um, you know, try to be one one type of team at a time. So. Yeah. I think if he, if he drops it out on and drops his mega or something else, I think that will make this team into a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Same. He could have had a reason and for having a sand, though. Um, I, I don't see it, one but... More, yeah. One more 100 or above mod speed-wise would be fantastic, because those speed tiers are absolutely abysmal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. But he does have... Plus, um, you know... Mega Assault has the magic bounce as well. I, I would also well, keeps the magic bounce. Mm -hmm. yeah. I would also like for him to have uh, another um, U turner or um, you know bolt switcher. Uh, he doesn't. <clears throat> he also uh, um, probably needs another wall breaker. To be fair, like he does have uh, superior to setup sweep, um, but he only only really has Terrakion and and Kern Black. And then I think another choice, a potential choice, Scarper would be nice because if you look at his team. Uh, you're going to be thinking, oh, it's going to be Kieran Black or Terrakion that's going to be scarped every week. So. Right. I mean, he could run Scarf Superior, but yeah, that's not I, the best set. I've seen it, but yeah. Uh, Rotom Heat can also be Scarf, I guess. Yeah. So. Well, with those points, like, my, my mods I suggested are even better. Because mm -hmm. then you can get a tier 4 at the end, right? Or... Yeah, he could try for that. Points? How many extra points is uh, tier two for you? Uh, it's unfortunate yeah. that uh, you know that he had to go with Slurpuff um, uh, as his uh, fairy type, but at the same time, Slurpuff is a very powerful fairy type if uh, it sets up. So yeah, uh, I just don't just... think like because because you know he also has webs with Slurpuff, right? So um, right, it's not bad that uh, his B tiers aren't. At a higher caliber than, than say, you know, 
um, what uh, beaters were, but. Yeah. Also, Empoleon, sneaky defiant. There's that too, yeah. Yeah, because with that logic, like, uh, instead of the Bulby, you could add Yan Mega, something like that. I don't True. know if he has the point. Like, Bulby, I think, is a tier 5, and yeah, Mega is tier well, 4. Yeah, but if you drop for a he's... tier 2 Mega and Mega Absol, right? Oh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you could, and yeah, you could upgrade would be, a tier 3 that to that a tier 2 would be terrifying, to be honest. Yeah. He would still have the rock weakness, but at, you know, Bulby, at least Yan Mega might actually come to more matches than Bulby, so. You can either get uh, speed boosted with Lens or scarf with the uh... with yeah with the uh, tinted lens or yeah you know uh, specs with um speed boost yeah. speed boost even um yeah there is a few options but the team is overall still pretty good mm -hmm. just some weaknesses i guess yeah but he doesn't he doesn't have to be a trick room team honestly and uh reuniclus can just be there to uh to have another sweeping option if he needs it 